back you beautiful people, welcome to my bike cave, yes, this, and welcome to another Blake Builds, and today's video is all about building a balance bike. There's a hole in there, dude, check it out. Now you're probably out there and going, dude, I don't even have kids, man, I'm like, 13 years old. Well, hey, one day this video might come in handy. Now for all those dads out there that have kids and want to get their kids into riding bikes just like you and have some fun, well then today's video is going to help you out because my little man has doing? been struggling on this. Fix it. He's been struggling to ride this. This is my GMBN-esque bike. Now you can buy this. Hashtag buy merch, top corner if you want to get it. I love this bike, but it's, it's too big. I scoured the internet. You can build balance bikes out of some plywood. I've seen loads of videos on YouTube, and I got inspired. I always love getting inspired by people on YouTube. I'm gonna build one. I'm gonna build one a little bit smaller than that red bike that I got him. So, I bought this. Look at this thing. Now this thing's way bigger than that one. And look at, it's just, it's all wobbly. This. Five pound. Now I'm gonna use this as a donor bike. But I need the wheels, that was the main thing I bought this bike is for, is the wheels. Now, we've got the donor bike. Now I've got this thing. Now this is an old piece of wood. Look at it, it's got, it's got exhaust sealant on it when I was fixing my motorbike. All right, enough chip jibber jabbering. Let's start drawing out this plan. And I wanna make it small enough, but I wanna use modern geometry. Yeah, long, slack. <laughs> Johnny would love it. Right. First things first, I am gonna dismantle this bike. I wanna get the wheels off so I can put them on a piece of wood and see how long I can make this thing. So, take the wheels off, and salvage a few other bits. It smells like those shoes, Crocs. <laughs> Axel. These are gonna come in handy, for sure. It's like an IKEA bike building. Does IKEA make balance? Oh, that'd be amazing. Right, so I've taken apart, got the handlebars. I could be using these again, they might come in handy, but I've got a different idea for that. Saddle, won't be needing that. The frame, I won't be needing them. The forks, I won't be needing that. And the mud guard, I won't be needing that either. All I want is these. The bars. Now, modern geometry. Look at that. Little man's gonna sit in here somewhere. Okay, this bike is 34 and a half inches. 30, well, that's bang on 34 and a half. So I'm gonna make it 35, because, uh, just because, you know, that is, that's actually pretty wide. The style of the frame I want, I want it to be quite modern, I want to have some angles and stuff, I want to build in the mudguard to the bike itself, so that's going to be there, I want the mudguard to come round a bit, the back as well, so he doesn't get sucked in there if he sits on his rear wheel, uh, yeah, I'm going to start just drawing, let's start drawing. I've come up with this. I'm gonna go with this one. I've been looking at this one. It looks terrible. I think this is the best shape. I'm gonna square it off at the front there, just like that. I got a great idea for this the uh, headset, which I'll show you in a minute. I think I think it'll work. I think it'll work. Right. Let's start making mess, dude. Safety first. Beauty little man, a bike! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me, look at that! Little 
one man. Wheel. There, in there, like that. Oh, snap. Actually looks pretty high. I might have to get rid of the mud gun. Don't know. Bit of ply. Scrap when I was building all this. So this is gonna be the swing arm for the rear. So I think just one, he's, he's light. So I think just that will be quite strong. Right then, just like that. I'll screw that in, but I'm gonna countersink it. Like I'm gonna probably chip it out. I need my chisels. Chisels. Whoa. This is gonna take a while. Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Perfect. The beginning of the swing arm. It looks so ugly now with all this horribleness and edges, but it's, you know, it's all in the finishing. It's all in the finish. All right, now I'm gonna measure up this tire so I can pretty much dream, well, router out this to give it a bit more clearance because that is not wide enough for the tire. Plus I don't want to cut it all the way because, well this is the swing arm. And then I've got this other bit here. This bit is gonna go there, one each side. That's gonna give me enough room so my wheel can fit inside there and I can have a little hub a little spacing. Yeah. Right, that's done. Right, let's move on. Let's clean this up, man. I've got so much mess in this nice place. What the hell? What the hell? Right, this is the swing arm. This is what it's gonna look like, but I don't want this edge. So, what I've done is I cut a 45 degree angle on that thing, so it can fit there like that. Just like that. I'm gonna screw and glue that together. I'm gonna do it to both sides. And then, well, we've pretty much got the rear end pretty dealt with for now. But ugly ducklings turn into a swan, and swans are beautiful. Okay, that is the rear end in. Look, I might cut it there. <laughs> it looks quite cool. It looks like a motorbike, man. It looks like a bloody motorbike. Just put some brake lights there. Exhaust. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Safety first! <laughs> Actually looks way better. <laughs> ah. I'm actually going to move to the front end right now. So I can get it really good and lined up perfect. Okay, this is my box of treasures dude. Never throw anything away. No matter how small or how like big. Look, look just, I, I keep these little bits because they might come in handy. Now I need something for a headset. These are old uh, bottom brackets, BBs. Come to think of it. Wait there, broom handle. Would that, would that fit in there? If that, oh, you know, that is gonna fit. Look at that, look at that! With a bit of jiggery pokery, that would go in there perfect, snug as a bug in a rug. And then that, obviously will go in, oh. I've, Eureka, Eureka. Okay, I've worked out the head angle. That's the head angle. <laughs> oh, okay, now I've got to make sure I get that level. So let's chuck in a wheel there. Just get that as level as possible. So I can just go. 
straight down. And I've got this thing, 32 mil, 32, yeah, 32. No turning back now. There's a hole in there, dude. Check it. <laughs> now, let's bang these in there. Or screw them in. Either way. Little man's crying. He'll be happy when he sees this. He'll be happy. Oh, look at that, it's actually screwing in. Oh, snap. Ah, right. First problem. When I was putting these in, I split it which is not good. Oh, I have to... Ah. I'm gonna have to cut another frame because that, my friends, is... That's not good. That's not good. So, back to the drawing board. Day two, balance bike. I went to bed, I man, I just, I was, I was kind of stressed out. Thinking about making it cool, different and stuff, but I think the best thing is just making it simple, easy, and smaller for little man to ride. I am basically gonna use the old, the original headset from that balance bike I took apart. I'm gonna put that in there. Again, modern geometry, a little bit slack for little man. And uh, I think this is gonna speed up the process a lot better because you know, by the time I finish it, it's gonna be winter and you don't wanna go out there. It's lovely out there right now. I'm wearing shorts today. <clears throat> Safety first. We're getting there. Charlie, what do you think? What do you think? Good? Suspension? You like it? Yeah. Yeah, good boy. It's gonna look good and it's gonna have a little bump stop. It's a bit like the original one, but it's gonna bump stop on the side of the frame so you won't get super jackknifed and fall over. See ya, Charlie. Gone. <laughs> okay, this is where I've got to. This is gonna be the headset. Okay, before I start assembling and putting this thing together and trying to put the wheels on, I'm going to go around the whole frame. I'm gonna sand it, a lot of sanding. I'm gonna do some nice curves to these lines and stuff so it doesn't look so harsh. This is where it starts to turn into a swan, dude. I'm excited.
getting there, we're getting there. This is the complete assembly. I can put it all together, but I need handlebars. So, where's my trusty broom handle? <laughs> broom handle, look at that, real short one. It's like, for a very short person. Now, I'm gonna cut some bars, and I'm going 12 inches wide. I think that'll be quite wide enough. I think that's wide enough. I think that is. Give a tape measure. A whole ruler sized handlebar for little man. There you go. Cut that. And then I'm just gonna place it on there like that. Just like that. And then we've got handlebars. And then just basically assemble, well, paint, because I've got some paint, which is here. I'm going gray. This is all I had in the shop. Bars cut. Look at that, man. That, look, that looks cool. Little man's gonna hold on there and he's gonna love it. Now, I'm gonna glue and screw that in. And then I can basically paint and assemble. Yes! So cute! Look at that! Yeah! bike with absolute future geometry. Now, all I need to do is get little man. Charlie! Go on! Do it, go. I got a doo for you! Whoa! You wanna go riding? You wanna go riding? Oh, a wheel. There's a wheel, yes! Lift your leg. Good boy! <laughs> <laughs> Hold ya! Ready? Go! Wow! Yeah. <laughs> oh, he loves it! He is a little man, he's not even two yet, but I thought, hey man, this is a cool project just for me to build little man's bike. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. This video has taken me ages. Trial and error everywhere, projecting, everything. Look at that, what do you think? Good? Yeah. Yeah, he likes yeah. it, that's the main thing. Give him a few months, he'll be all over this thing. He'll probably outgrow it anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Let us know in the comments down below if you want to see anything else. And uh, yeah, just follow us on all our social media platforms and I'll see you next time. See ya! Charlie, you're gonna do a wheelie.